Hi guys, as usually it's me, Justin of Screen Voice, and you're watching Review Machines. Today we will see the most interesting war machines of the past. These machines are very seldom exhibited because it's the most rare vehicles and tanks of the Second World War. In this way, most likely you won't be able to find these machines anywhere but in this video. They are from different countries, from many private collections, and only today you may look at them together in this material. And moreover, some of these machines you are likely to see for the first time. Tanks, ATVs, armored vehicles from USSR, USA, Germany, France and Italy. Besides mind that you will see not copies and models, but original machines that were thoroughly repaired and renewed and now these vehicles are in perfect condition. It's so unbelievable, because many of these machines took part in real battles, but today they are ready to go in battle again. So get comfortable, my friends, we are to start just now. Now you see a condition of the vehicle before it's repaired and renewed. And I should say, it's not so bad as it may be. Such machines can be found in wounds and swamps, abandoned military objects and even in households of members of the war. A very thorough process of reconstruction may take years, because it's very difficult nowadays to find original parts. But only they can be used. And after such a work, we can see a machine in this condition. It's very impressive, isn't it? And I think if we began to speak about this vehicle, let's find out more about this great piece of our history. It's fired SPAT L-37, Italian military all-terrain vehicle of the Second World War. First vehicle was produced in 1938. The main features are short wheelbase, big ground clearance and four-wheel drive. It's cut out for military actions in mountains. Also, it's very interesting that rear wheels can be turned as the front ones. Such feature resulted in the highest maneuverability of the vehicle, its turning radius is less than 4 meters. Moreover, it's very powerful ITV, with full load, 5 people, heavy cargo, towed cannon and on the slope of 40 degrees it can accelerate up to 30 miles per hour. I think it's rather tough even for modern off-road vehicles. Nowadays it remains only few of these cars in the whole world, and it's the only one in such a great condition. KDS-166 Schwimmwagen It's considered as one of the first amphibian military vehicles in the world. The most interesting that this machine was designed completely by a famous Ferdinand Porsche. This vehicle can quite efficiently swim, thanks to a special foldable screw. Its speed on water is about 8 miles per hour, and on the ground it's about 20 miles per hour. So Schwimmwagen can cross rivers and lakes, but I should say it could be easily sunk by a single hole in the body. Four-wheel drive, flat bottom and little weight allow the vehicle to move through swampy and rough terrain, so it could come as a full surprise for enemy going from unexpected areas. And if it gets stuck in the mood, it can be easily moved manually by few people, because its weight is just 900 kilos. There are four seats, loading capacity is 400 kilos. The design of the vehicle is very effective, it's very simple and reliable, so it was considered as a very successful military project. But unfortunately nowadays it's a very rare vehicle, it's difficult to see it in such a great condition. the first Japan four-wheel drive vehicle, Kuragen Type 95. First time it was produced in 1936. This car may be considered as the ancestor of well-known brand Nissan. The factory where it was produced took this name in 1962. It's a small car, but has rather big wheel for off-road moving. Besides, the engine is air-cooled, so it was independent of water. There are three forward gears and reverse. Kuragen proved to be very effective during the war in North China. As I said, it doesn't need any water. And it was a great advantage, cause there was a shortage of water at that war scene. The vehicle has a very simple and reliable design, a very efficient and swift military ATV. It met all the demands of the time, but as you know it was not enough for Japan to avoid a defeat and the Second World War. Nowadays it's the rarest vehicle, only three cars in good shape are known in the world.
Report 930 was produced in Germany in 1937. At the time, Germany was prepared for the war. So this model is designed to be more practical, not luxurious. It's equipped with V8 engines, 3.8 liters capacity and 92 HP. The weight is about 2 tons and maximum speed is very decent for that time, 100 miles per hour. Even today Hork is a beautiful car and for that time it was a real masterpiece. The design is so strict and clear, simple lines, big windows, this car was very successful with customers. Also, it has a luxurious interior, huge comfortable seats, a lot of space and even in standard version this Hork was equipped with radio. Moreover, it has another luxurious option. It's a washing stand. I'm not kidding, a real washing stand was built on the right side of the body. The car had every chance to become very popular throughout the war. But these changes were ruined by the Second World War. The factory where these vehicles were produced was eliminated by numerous bombings. And this is a military version, Hork 9001. This model was produced since 1937. The main parts were taken from civilian model that we have just seen. The main difference is that the military version has a four-wheel drive with diff lock. There is an interesting fact. The commander-in-chief of USSR Army Zhukov used this vehicle that had been captured in German embassy in 1943. And he stated that this Hork was one of the best ATV of the Second World War. Not only Zhukov, but even British Prime Minister Churchill greatly appreciated this vehicle. It proved to be very reliable, heavy dirty and simple, and it could move in toughest conditions. The car has the same engine as civilian model V892 HP, maximum speed 70 miles per hour. Nowadays it's almost impossible to find this Hork in such a perfect condition. There are less than 10 units remained in the world. T-38, the lightest amphibian tank from USSR. This tank was firstly produced in 1935. It's a very stocky but white machine and such solution resulted in the fact that this tank can quite steadily float. This tank has an advanced suspension system that provides quite decent maximum speed, about 30 miles per hour. The weapon is 7.62 caliber machine gun. The engine is 4 cylinders 3.8 liters capacity 40 HP, side clutch system. The weight is slightly more than 3 tons. A special propeller is used to move on water. It's interesting that it was one of the first tanks where the welding started to be used in construction. By the way, in 1935, when this tank was firstly produced, there was no any analogs in the world. At the show there were almost all the models of motorcycles that took part in the Second World War. You could meet there such bikes as legendary BMW and the rarest Japan military bike. But this German Kettenkrad I think the most interesting moto ATV at the exhibition. This is the lightest tracked ATV, it's a very maneuverable vehicle which was perfectly used by soldiers for scouting and towing light cannons. It's equipped with 4 cylinder engine, 66 horsepower. The transmission has three forward gears and a low mode for the toughest off-road. This ATV is very effective off-road moving, due to the tracks and light weight it can move through swamp and snow. Maximum speed is 50 miles per hour on a flat ground and 30 miles on off-road. This ATV can be turned both by a front wheel and by a side clutch. As a result of its off-road feature, this ATV was the only vehicle that could successfully move in winter and spring where it was the severest terrain conditions in Russia. This armored vehicle is called FIEM. Its advanced Russian machine was produced on the base of civilian vehicle gas. It's equipped with a 50 horsepower engine. It's rather heavy car, so it could be used only in town on good roads and immediately get stuck on off-road. But on the other hand, it has quite a decent armor that can save people sitting inside from bullets and shell fragments. Unfortunately, this vehicle could be easily damaged by a more serious weapon. Besides, that we are not quick enough to survive any tough battle. That is why Russian military government decided not to produce on the line this machine. And it was made just about 300 units. So nowadays this model is extremely rare to become across.
T-70 US SRI tank of the Second World War. Firstly, it was produced in 1941. The weight is 9 tons. It has an advanced armor, 45mm cannon and double 12 cylinders engine. Total power is 140 HP and it allowed to accelerate the machine up to 30 miles per hour. Many of these tanks took part in the severest battles in 1942. But then they were replaced by the more advanced models and by the end of the war it remained just few of them. The rarest French four-wheel drive vehicle, Latil M71. Firstly, it was produced in 1938. This is multi-purpose military ATV. It could be used for scouting and towing light cannons. It can carry five people and additional cargo. This vehicle is equipped with four-cylinder 2.7 liters capacity and 50 horsepower. Also, it has advanced eight gears transmission with differential lock and independent suspension system for all the wheels. Very powerful hydraulic brakes, decent ground clearance and 50 miles per hour maximum speed. All these features make this vehicle one of the best light military machines at the time. It was made up to 1945. The total amount of produced vehicles is about 900 units. But just very few of them could be seen nowadays in such a great condition. Half truck M5, heavy American ATV of the Second World War. It was being produced since 1940 till 1945. During the war, many of these machines were supplied by USA to the American allies. This ATV proved to be very effective and reliable. It's very interesting that some countries had used this vehicle in their armies up to 2007. It has an armor that can protect from bullets. The thickness of the steel is 6 mm. And there is a 13 mm steel in front of the vehicle that can protect a driver and car commander. It's equipped with 6-cylinder engine, 6 liters capacity and 140 HP. The maximum speed is about 50 miles per hour. There is a 4 gears transmission and low mode for cross-country moving. The weapon is 12.7 mm machine gun mounted behind the cabin and 7.62 mm machine gun mounted from behind the vehicle. This is a legendary German light tank Panzerkampfwagen. It has a front armor of 14 mm and its weight is almost 9 tons. The thickness of the armor is the same at all the sides, so it can protect only from bullets and shell fragments. The engine is Maybach, 6 cylinders, 7 liters capacity, power is 140 HP. The maximum speed is 30 miles per hour. Fuel consumption is about 90 liters for 70 miles. There is a 6 gear transmission. The weapon is 20 mm automatic cannon and machine gun 7.62 mm. The crew is three people, commander gun layer, a scout and a driver. Now you see Japan light tank Hago. This machine was produced in 1935 by Mitsubishi company. The weapon is mounted in the middle of the body. It's 37 mm cannon. The weapon has a manual system of pointing. Also there is a 6 mm machine gun. The vehicle is equipped with diesel 6 cylinder engine, about 100 horsepower. It has an air cooling system that may be considered as one of the drawbacks of the tank. Besides there is no any welding. All the parts of the armor are connected by usual bolts. By the way, the thickness of the armor is about 10 mm, so it can protect only from bullets, but it can't resist any more serious weapon. The tank was being produced in 1935 to 1943. The total amount of produced machines is about 1000 units.
This is Ford F60, it's an American military ATV truck. It's equipped with 8 cylinders engine, 4 liters capacity and 95 horsepower. It's a full drive vehicle that can deal with rather serious off-road. There is an interesting story about this particular vehicle. During the war it was captured many times. Firstly, it was captured by German forces in 1942. Then it was sent to Italy, where this vehicle took part in battles. After that, it was transferred to the East Front, where it was retaken by Soviet Union forces. In this way, this machine served almost for all the sites of the Second World War. And it's hard to believe, but even today this truck is in a great condition and it's ready to be used at any time. And this menacing machine is considered as the most effective tank killer of the Second World War. It's a German self-propelled cannon that was used to shoot enemy tanks for the long distance. It was produced in 1940 and soon it proved to be very effective in battles. It has 150mm cannon that can cope with the most tanks of that time. The vehicle is equipped with 6 cylinders engine, 3.5 liters capacity and 70 horsepower. It's a tracked ATV, so it was possible to move on the road, and maximum speed is 20 miles per hour. The crew is two people, a driver and a gun layer. The cabin is open, so it's possible to leave the vehicle at any moment, and this feature saved a lot of people during the battles. At present, it's the rarest vehicle, it's known only one machine in good condition, and this machine you see now on your screens. Renault 31R, it's so called Tomcat. It was used mainly for towing different cannons and other cargoes, but many of these machines served for civilian purposes in the police and even as tractors. It has 9mm armor and 4 cylinders engine, 2 liters capacity, 35 HP that provides 30 miles per hour maximum speed. The weight is about 2 tons and loading capacity 400 kilos. This particular vehicle was captured by Soviet Army. And there is nothing more to say, but now it's very difficult to find this model in such a great condition. So let's call it a day. It were the most interesting and rare vehicles of this show. I hope you liked this video. Please consider subscribing, it will be many more interesting materials on this channel. Thanks for watching, goodbye.